queens. Drag queens? Where? <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to Reality Check. This week we're going over RuPaul's Drag Race. This episode, float your boat. This week we had probably the most uncomfortable five minutes of my life on RuPaul's Drag Race. A drag queen wet t-shirt contest. <laughs> you just did that. Willem won that round based on I have no idea what kind of criteria. She put lotion on herself. They poured water down her crack. Fifi lost her boobs, her <laughs> hair, and her dignity. So, in the workroom... Shenanigans! I like how they brought some history into the challenge this time with the Stonewall. Jiggly didn't know what Stonewall is, but she knows the word narcissistic, which frankly surprised the hell out of me, so, um, way to get a dictionary, girl. Where uh, the hell was Latrice in the workroom? Her lips were glued together. This is totally impractical. Who does this? We are serving candy shop realness <laughs> right now. <laughs> and we look fierce. And so we enter the runway. The guys that edit the show must get paid overtime when Willem enters the stage. I've seen way too much of <laughs> Willem's blurry crack. She had a good story. You know, I got married in California when it was legal, and then all of a sudden it wasn't, and that really got my ass in gear, you know, regarding Prop 8. So it kind of tied into the whole help floats thing. And they didn't really seem to give two shits about Sharon Needles putting all that thought into her work, and yet Willem can slap his face on the side of his boat 500 times with stars around it, and suddenly that's magnificent and inspired. And her Dolce Gabbana jacket. And a Billy B, I think, even knew the designer of her bathing suit. Well, that makes one of us. They criticize Chad for being too perfect. What the hell does that mean? Do you want her to mess up? Do you want her to be in the bottom two? Will that make her more human for you? She's being awesome. She's... Being Chad Michaels, what else do you want from her? Jesus. They finally called Dita Ritz out on her pedestrian look. And what was she wearing? T-shirt and pants. I bet she thought she was serving Carrie Bradshaw. She was not. I love to do girly. I'm a lazy chick that just <laughs> likes to go to the mall. Jiggly Malone, we're in the final two. Jiggly just looked cheap. I'm sorry. Yeah, but what you have to admit, when Jiggly goes out on and when she goes down in the bottom two and she's performing, she pulls it out every time. Oh god, she's like a Range Rover. That chick can move. <laughs> she's got a V8 tucked up under all that bulk. <laughs> and then Milan pulled out that same crap again, over and over. The wig, the dress, the la la la, I'm rolling around on the floor. Oh, look at me, look at me. Michelle Visage even was like, if that bitch takes off her wig one more time, she's going down. And she did, and she did. So, sorry, by Milan. Have you noticed that the drop split is pretty much the get out of jail free card for like everybody involved in Drag Race? As it should be. I mean, you do it, and it's like, <laughs> okay, well, you know what, obviously you're not going home this week. Milan did it too. But I mean, that girl was way past her prime on this one, so there's no saving her after that. It only looks good when a big bitch does it. I guess. So that's all for this week. Be sure to catch us next Wednesday when we bring you another episode of Race Recaps with Taylor and Ryan. You sound like a dog. Race Recaps <laughs> with Taylor and Ryan. Bye! How do you talk with these things on your lips? You don't! You eat them and then you talk. <laughs> so if you like what we're doing, subscribe to our channel, hit up there so you can get updated every week. If you guys have any suggestions, we're brand new with this, we have no idea what we're doing, and we're just kind of going with it, so let us know.